How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. Good afternoon and good evening to everyone. This is a special update. Uh, as we were talking about it uh, yesterday and the day before, uh, the TB uh, situation, the tuberculosis situation with the Cameroon people has been a detail over here. It has been a subject over here of matter of emergency. Uh, right now, the, Depart the Department of Health is going to the uh two different shelters that we are going to visit uh in a few moments uh after uh you know we finish this broadcast we're going to go over there and try to get in there and try to do some interviews with some people from Africa as they are being right now checked by the department of uh health over here in Tijuana Baja California apparently right now they already checked 70 70 70 uh, people from Cameroon. They checked 70 people from Cameroon and they already took nine, nine samples to check. I'm sorry, nine samples to check. Uh, you know, nine samples to check in the hospitals. Nine samples to check in the hospitals. We are going to go in a few moments to this particular shelter, see if we can get uh, in there, see if we can talk to a few Africans, see if we can talk to the Department of Health. The Department of Health has just arrived. You know, they're working around the press. They don't want the press to find out how they're doing their work. They don't want, uh, you know, everybody to be on them and to be checking on them how they're doing their work. So they're going around the press. You know, I went there as, as I finished in the shelter, a gap for everybody to know that it was just joining me and they did not see the feed a few hours ago. We were really early in the morning at the shelter Agape to show you the return back 
home bus. The return back home bus. The return back home bus is a program right now that a company from Tapachula is, is offering to all the people that they are over here in Tijuana, Baja, California, or in the borderline on the six states of Mexico that connects to the United States that they are offering them by a cheap price of a thousand pesos to return back home from the borders of uh, Mexico to Tapachula. That is the program. That is how cheap it is. Uh, yesterday, it was apparently uh, an amount of 40 people in Little Haiti. Uh, this program went over there. They were making a list. Apparently, the number is between 70 people. They want to return back home. And right now, today, there was uh, an amount of 100 people that they wanted to return back home, but they had a problem with the money issue, how they're going to take out the money. They don't have IDs for Western Union. They don't have IDs for uh, for MoneyGram. They don't have IDs for that. So the problem is not the money, the money they have it. The problem is that they don't know how to get the money to their position so they can pay uh all these or uh, all these co companies of buses that they are returning them back home to Tapachula after they get back home to Tapachula they're just going to walk back through in the Suchiate bridge that we broadcast over there in Tapachula Chiapas they're just going to walk back to uh to uh Guatemala uh is uh US dollars is in a thousand pesos uh it's around fifty dollars so around fifty to fifty five dollars is the cost for everybody to go back home now what we're just uh, what uh, just uh, came in in the in uh, for you guys as a coverage uh, around seventy people from Africa they just checked right now for TB for tuberculosis the, the Department of Health is going to every shelter checking every immigrant if they don't have tuberculosis this being that the immigrant that it was detained at Grupo Beta he not only he this, the the uh, the term is not escaping. He just got out of the shelter or got out of the possession of Grupo Beta and he crossed to the United States. This immigrant was from Cameroon. He had a really high uh, uh, emergency uh, uh, level of tuberculosis that it was categorized as dangerous. And he was and he was uh, detained by Grupo Beta. By Grupo Beta, he was detained. He escaped from Grupo Beta and he crossed to the United States. Now he is detained in an detention center in the United States of America. Uh, this knowing uh, by a fact that he came around with 300 more Cameroon people. These people from Cameroon. We don't know if they're infected. We don't know if they have that tuberculosis. That is why the Department of Health right now is going through every shelter in Tijuana, Baja, California. And we are going to two different shelters right now to check what kind of job they're doing and to see if they're going to let us in and to see if it is safe for us to go in there. I'm going to be wearing a mask and I'm going to be wearing some gloves. It's real difficult to be around these shelters now, people. This bacteria that is called fungus slash pneumonia slash bacteria, uh, slash whatever, they don't want to name it. it. The cure for this bacteria that is on the air and that is on the atmosphere, it's around, uh, you know, uh, 50,000 pesos. That, that is around $2,000 in some, in some, uh, in some much. So it's, it's really expensive. And the only ones that they have, uh, the cure for this disease is the United States pharmaceutical company. So it's kind of like over here they have it, but it's really expensive. They don't have it over here. I'm sorry, but they have it in the United States. So it's kind of a, you know, it's real expensive for that, uh, for that, uh, you know, disease that, that, that is on the air. So it's, you know, we have to be really careful on wearing a mask, on wearing gloves and going to every shelter. It's airborne. Yes. Uh, to go into every shelter and, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving you guys the information about what it's going on. What it's going on with the tuberculosis factor regarding Africans, regarding people from Cameroon. It's real difficult to know if there's going to be able to contain it. If these people that they just took nine samples, they just took nine samples of 70 people that are taking back to see if they have tuberculosis. And if they have tuberculosis, man, by God, man, we need to put them on quarantine and we need to take care of all the Mexican people that they are around this area of this shelter. So the Department of Health is stepping up. They're not telling us where they're going because they don't want to be ambushed by the press. 
And also, they don't want to be ambushed by everybody, you know, questioning them or by, uh, you know, nationalists, you know, uh, pushing them to do their job. They don't want to be, uh, you don't want to be ambushed by all these people. They just want to do their job, get out. But, you know, practically, in my, in my opinion, they need to be aware that this situation needs to be exposed and they need to tell every citizen of, the, of Mexico and of Tijuana what is happening with tuberculosis and this bacteria that is killing Tijuana citizens. Citizens. So it's now or never that they need to open up their mouths. They need to go on the, to go on mainstream media and start telling everybody people are getting sick and we have probably a breakout of tuberculosis. So they need to start speaking up and they need to start, you know, uh, giving giving the news to everybody. It's, 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 it's just unreasonable and it's just illogical for them to not just be quiet about it and not saying anything about it. When you got, you know, officers from the INAMI over here, immigration officers from Mexico that they're getting, you know, they're, they're getting, uh, they're getting sick because of this disease. And not only that, soldiers from the Mexican National Guard, they're getting sick. Not only that, you're going to get, you know, the, the Border Patrol is going to get sick. So it's kind of like who, why everybody's getting sick when nobody's saying anything about it. So we're going to go to this shelters and find out for everybody to know, this is a quick update. 70 people from Africa were right now checked and they took nine samples to the hospital to see if they have uh, what kind of tuberculosis they have and if they're going to be put on quarantine. For everybody to know, you know, that is the latest subject. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. People, this was a, this was a quick bulletin for every, uh, every one of you guys. Uh, you know, stay tuned as we are going right now. Uh, later on this afternoon, we're going to go to a shelter to see you, to tell you guys, uh, you know, what is going on with these shelters and if they're putting them on quarantine or a special room so they won't be contagious uh, to every other migrant or to the Mexican citizen himself. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. Stay safe and always remember, peace and love everybody, because always your country is first.